Hey, how's your day? Photoshop Beta's generative fill has caused a sensation about creating great compositions by removing things and adding things, adding way too many things to your pictures to make exactly what you want. Now they've added Generative Expand attached to your crop tool so you can expand your pictures and make them even more beautiful if they have landscapes and etc. I like to help people fix their photographs if they're misaligned or need a little help filling out the picture. I've got four examples here. Let's check it out. All right, in this first picture, I was asked to complete the picture because the girl's head is cut off at the very top and we'd like to see her hair and maybe what the sun is doing here. So what we'll do is we'll go to our crop tool, see for the crop tool, and we'll drag it up just a bit. Possibly to where the top of her head is. And we're not going to type anything in. We'll just hit generate. Make sure generative expand is chosen in the fill. Generate. And right away we've got a great version. Because you're given three versions. One, two, and three. But I like the first one here. It completes her hair. And you can see a little bit more of what the sun is doing here. Great stuff. Now in this second picture, I was asked to complete the picture again because it looks like everyone's kind of squished in here in the pic. So what we'll do is we'll hit C for the crop tool and we'll make a little bit of room for the bottom and for both sides. Give it a little breathing room. Again, make sure it's on generative expand and let's just hit generate. Now we're given three options, one, two, and three. I like the first one here as it completes the outfit on both sides, plus it expands the background. Now that's a cool pick. In this third example here, it looks like this girl is kind of all squished in here again with her picture and it needs to be completed. That's what I was asked to do. So what we'll do, see for the crop tool and let's pull it out to the side here. Just enough so you can complete her arm and her hat and her hair. And we'll do the other side. Give it a little bit of balance and see what we got. Generate. All right, one, two, and three. I like number one here as it completes the whole picture. And now you have her arm and hair and hat. Looking good. Now in this fourth example, the ladies in the picture are looking good, but once again, they all seem to be cut off here. I'm not sure if that's a fad or what photographers or people are doing with their selfies. And they don't like that. They want it to be complete. So I was asked to make it a lot better than it is. So what we'll do is we'll hit C for the crop tool. We'll go up top, expand enough so you can see a little bit of the background plus complete her hair. We go to the side, complete her hair and the arm. The other side, to do the same thing, let's complete her hair and the arm and throw a little bit of background in there. Generate. Give an option one, two, and three. Two, um, and three. I like number three the best, as it has completed her hair and everything. And now you can tell she they're doing a nice selfie. The background is completed. The ladies are looking good. This is great stuff. We're just getting started with Generative Expand. I'll be making some more videos on exactly what you can do with it to make your pictures the best they can be. I'm Don from Photo 911. Yeah.